So, presenting in all of its glory, the Playmobil Ecto-1A. Obviously, one little nitpick is the fact that it has three of these on each side instead of only two. But that is, I think, my only nitpick of the Ecto-1A. I mean, everything else is fairly spot on. It would have been cool if this light was also a working light, but they got to do what they got to do. But feast your eyes on this. So, the little red light blinks. The code, I forget what they are. I want to say they're like code free light bars. They work. They have the proper... LEDs in them, you know, the green, the blue, the amber, you know, they didn't just make them blue, you know, like the regular Ecto. And in addition to lights, listen to that glorious sound. They got the radar dish is able to be moved and positioned. They got so many great details correct on this. I am so happy with this one. Even comes to the low removable slime splatter. Pink for accuracy for the second movie. Ultimately, if you're a Ghostbusters fan and you have a chance to add the Playmobil Ecto-1A to your collection, do not hesitate. It comes with all four Ghostbusters in the Ghostbusters 2 outfits. Ray and Winston both come with the slime blowers. Egon gets the Giga Meter, as well as him and Peter also having the regular Proton Packs. They have a lenticular sign that changes. I don't know if it's picking it up here but this side has for hire and we're back and the other side basically scrolls the uh, the Ghostbusters text across but yeah ultimately great purchase uh, definitely pick one up if you can they're a little pricey a lot pricier actually than the regular Ecto-1 the Ecto-1 will set you back about 40 or 50 bucks. The Ecto-1A, if you don't find a decent deal on it, will set you back about 100. Well, not quite 100. About 89 to 90 is the going rate. I found mine on eBay from a seller in London for 60, which was a great deal, though it took ages to get here. But, yeah. The hose disconnects to remove the top. As you can see, there's all four busters sitting in there. There's racks for all the weapons. Well, for the packs. I've kind of had to jumble most of the weapons in the very back there. It takes AAA batteries, which are not included. But yeah, definitely worth the price. Anyway, this is DMC Jedi Man, signing off.